For decades, something strange lingered beneath the soil of the Indian subcontinent. Ancient texts whispered of forgotten empires, lost migrations, and gods descending from the sky. But while history spoke in myth, science remained silent. Or was it silenced? In the 20th century, archaeologists uncovered ruins older than the pyramids, skeletons buried in forgotten cities, tools that shouldn't exist, yet the DNA locked inside those ancient bones was left unstudied, dismissed, ignored, or quietly buried. And when a handful of scientists finally sequenced it, their findings sent shockwaves through the academic world. But instead of celebration, there was silence. What did they find that was so controversial? Why did certain genetic truths about India's past remain hidden for so long? And who had the power to keep this discovery in the dark? Today, the truth is beginning to surface, and it may rewrite everything we thought we knew about the origin of India's people. What were scientists hiding, and why? India is one of the oldest continuous civilizations on Earth, with a population exceeding 1.4 billion and a cultural lineage stretching back over 10,000 years, its history is both vast and complex. The Indus Valley Civilization, flourishing around 3300 BCE, built cities with plumbing systems, precise urban planning, and trade routes that stretched as far as Mesopotamia. But then, silence. Around 1900 BCE, this mighty civilization collapsed mysteriously. No wars, no fires, no conclusive answers. Later, the Aryan migration theory emerged, suggesting that lighter-skinned Indo-Europeans invaded from the Northwest, reshaping the genetic and cultural landscape. But the theory was always controversial. Was it science, or was it colonial narrative disguised as fact? Over time, Geneticists tried to trace the roots of Indian populations using mitochondrial DNA and Y chromosome markers, yet the results were inconsistent. Studies were delayed. Data vanished. Some papers were even retracted without explanation. How could a region with such ancient human presence remain genetically uncharted for so long? Because perhaps the truth would challenge everything, from caste hierarchies to national identity. In 2010, deep in the dry lands of Rakigari, one of the largest known cities of the Indus Valley civilization, archaeologists unearthed something extraordinary. A nearly intact female skeleton buried in a 4,500-year-old grave. Unlike other sites, the preservation here was pristine. For the first time, scientists had a real chance to extract ancient DNA from an Indus Valley individual. The bone was transported under tight security to South Korea for analysis, where labs specialized in degraded genetic material. The process was meticulous. Every speck of contamination could ruin the results. And as technicians carefully isolated the DNA from the skeleton's petrous bone, the hardest bone in the human body, the excitement grew. But then, silence. For years, no data was published. Whispers emerged of unusual results, findings that clashed with mainstream theories. Other researchers tried to replicate the process with samples from nearby sites, only to face sudden roadblocks, funding cuts, or bureaucratic delays. Why the hesitation? What had they seen in that genome? And why did it take nearly a decade for any data to reach the public? Something hidden had been found, and someone didn't want it known. Behind closed doors, a battle was unfolding. On one side, geneticists armed with cutting-edge tools, CRISPR comparisons, next-generation sequencing, and ancient genome reconstruction. On the other, political pressures, academic institutions wary of controversy, and centuries-old narratives not ready to be rewritten. As the team analyzed the Rakigari sample, 
They compared it to thousands of modern and ancient genomes across Eurasia. The initial shock? The woman's DNA carried no trace of steppe ancestry. The supposed genetic hallmark of the Indo-Aryan migration. Instead, her lineage pointed to a mix of indigenous South Asian hunter-gatherers and ancient Iranian agriculturalists, a combination that predated any alleged invasion by nearly 2,000 years. The implications were explosive. If the Indus people lacked steppe ancestry, then the Aryan migration, long taught as historical fact, may have occurred later, differently, or not at all. But even as the evidence mounted, opposition grew. Researchers faced threats. Conferences were canceled. Papers were delayed or buried in obscure journals. And still, the data refused to lie. What they were seeing was not just genetics. It was a challenge to centuries of colonial assumptions. In 2019, after nearly a decade of silence, the Rakigari DNA study was finally published and it shook the scientific world. The ancient genome, sequenced with extraordinary precision, confirmed what many had suspected but feared to say aloud. The woman had no genetic link to steppe populations, no Aryan markers, no signs of migration from the Northwest during the Indus era. Instead, her DNA revealed a distinct South Asian genetic signature, one that matched closely with modern populations in India's south and parts of the east. More surprisingly, it contained strong traces of ancient Iranian farmer ancestry, suggesting early contact with agricultural societies long before the rise of Mesopotamia. But here's the twist. When compared with steppe samples from Central Asia and Eastern Europe, scientists found those populations entered the subcontinent much later than previously thought centuries after the fall of the Indus Valley. This wasn't just a scientific correction. It was a seismic shift. The genetic map of India had been redrawn. The so-called Aryan migration was not the foundational event of Indian civilization. It was a late chapter in a much older story. And that story had been hidden. Not because the data was unclear, but because the truth was inconvenient. Picture it. Over 8,000 years ago, in the fertile plains between the Indus and Sarasvati rivers, small farming communities began to rise. They weren't warriors or invaders. They were builders, taming rivers, planting crops, domesticating cattle. Over millennia, these early societies evolved into urban marvels. Mohenjo-daro, Harappa, Rakigarhi, cities with granaries, drainage systems, and trade networks stretching across continents. Their genetic blueprint? A fusion. Indigenous South Asian hunter-gatherers and ancient Iranian farmers. A blend that produced one of the most advanced Bronze Age civilizations on Earth. And yet, no steppe DNA. No Aryan blood. The Indus Valley thrived independently long before the arrival of any migrating tribes. It wasn't until around 1500 BCE, nearly 1,000 years after the Indus cities crumbled, that steppe groups began arriving. They brought new languages, horses, and the seeds of what would become Vedic culture. But they arrived in a land already ancient, a land already shaped by civilizations whose legacy stretched back thousands of years. What the DNA revealed was clear. India's roots run deeper than invasion myths. The genetic story aligns not with conquest, but with continuity. And the silence surrounding that truth? It was never scientific. It was ideological. The revelation is clear. The genetic foundations of India were not laid by outsiders, but by ancient communities who rose, thrived, and evolved on their own soil. For decades, the narrative of migration and conquest overshadowed a deeper truth. A truth written not in stone, but in DNA. And when that truth surfaced, it wasn't just science that resisted. It was identity, power, history itself. 
But no data stays buried forever. Today, as new ancient genomes are decoded across the subcontinent, a clearer picture is forming, one that honors the complexity, the resilience, and the deep time of Indian civilization. And the question now is not whether scientists hid the truth. It's why so many were afraid of it. History is no longer what we are told. It is what we can prove. So if this unraveling of ancient secrets fascinated you, subscribe for more deep dives into the untold past. Because beneath every myth lies a molecule of truth. And the DNA? It never lies.